All I want to do is record a fucking video. And someone has to hoover. Fuck's sake! Fucking cows! Jesus Christ! What the fuck? <sighs> calm down. Calm down, calm down. We've got a video to do. <sighs> 280k squad builder, let's go. I know you're gonna dig this. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. The hoovering has stopped. Fortunately for me, we have a 280,000 coin squad builder. We, I think there's four team of the seasons in this, and they are mental. Anyways, guys, I literally just cannot wait to show you this squad. I fucking love it. Some of the best players team of the season wise I have used. Some of them are insane. Uh, link to the Brooksy Apparel Clothes Shop in the description as always. Let's get on to the squad builder. In goal, we have a team of the season BPL goalkeeper that when I seen his card pop up on the uh, team of the season thing, I was so excited for it. It is team of the season Jack Butlin, 86 rated card. Phenomenal goalkeeper. I absolutely love the card. Brilliant goalkeeper. In the centre back positions, then we have two centre backs. You have one that could be a team of the season if you had the money for him, and one that is just a beast centre back. Anyways, it's Lauren Koscielny on the right and Chris Smalling on the left. Upgraded Chris Smalling, I might add. And upgraded Koscielny, I forgot about that. Just really good centre backs. You guys have probably used them before. They're really solid players to have in defence. They do a good job defensively. They're strong and they're fast. Exactly what you want to protect Jack Butler from ever having to make a save. On the right back and left back positions, on the right, we have a Colombian from the Eredivisie and on the left we have Levin Kurzawa. Now this right back Santiago Arias, he's a great right back. I love the card. I love him in Football Manager as well. I've known him about him for quite a few years. Great right back. Phenomenal. Really and he has some really good links. Uh, Kurzawa is a great left back. You guys have used him before. I, I've used him loads of times in Squabblers. Great full backs to have and they're really attacking as well but they also do a great job defensively so it's a win-win situation. Now this is a bit weird. We're starting off with the CDM and the left centre mid because we have a few team of the seasons on the other side. The CDM is Morgan Schneiderlin and the left centre mid is uh, Blaise Matuidi. I thought Blaise Matuidi would work perfect in this formation because it's a 4-1-2-1-2 bracket 2, no wingers and we needed a high high or even just someone that would bomb up and down the pitch on the left hand side which is why Matuidi is in there. Morgan Schneiderlin at CDM, great defensive player, perfect to have and he can score a few goals as you can see on the screen. Um, yeah, just really solid midfielders but the, oh, the next two cards are fantastic. You could even say they're class. Class N, as in team of the season, Davy Class and Akam and Davy Proper. I want to say at right center mid, I think his, name, his first name is Davy. Proper's card, 92 long shots, 92 shot power. All you need to know, he's medium high as well, which means he will always sit back waiting for the ball to get past him to ping in them long shots into the top left. The amount of goals we scored doing that sort of stuff is incredible. Davy Classen's card is class. Oh, I hate myself, but at the same time, I don't hate myself because I managed to get to use this guy's card and it is fucking insane. One of the best team of the seasons. No, the best team of the season I have used so far, hands down. And at the two striker positions, I tried to get another team of the season, but I didn't have enough coins for the top right striker position. I was trying to get Vincent Janssen, 84 rated team of the season card, I couldn't afford him. We have Arcadius Milik team of the season on the left and we have Jurgen Lacadia or Lacadia, I don't know how to say it, on the right. Uh, PSV striker, he is brilliant. I really like the 75 rated card. Can finish so one of these goals in particular where I'm holding LT or T and just just bringing them back, bringing them back, and he finesses it into the top corner. Brilliant goal. Milik's card is great if you look at his stats on forehead. By the way, I need to say uh, it, it says seven games on all these stats. Uh, it was only five. We got uh, rage quitted on two of them, so the stats didn't count. Which I fucking hate that shit. Milik and Lacadia, great strikers up top. Lacadia's fitness is a little bit of a concern, but if you have fitness cards, you should be fine. Anyways, guys, this is the full squad builder. I love this card. It's what the fuck was that? I love this squad builder. As I said, if you wanted to take out uh, Lacadia, you could put in Vincent Janssen. You could put in Eric Hallier. You could put in Luke De Jong if you wanted. He's got some great shooting stats. And you could also use... Uh, Second in form of Tweedy, second and third in form because now I'm pretty sure they're going to get team of the season. You could also use a team of the season Smalling if you wanted to. And all the informs of Koscielny. You've got so many options with this team. I will see you next time when I'm finished showing you the clips. Anyway, let's just go show you the clips, guys. Thank you for watching. Why did I do that? So, ladies and gentlemen, as we get on to the clips with this team, I have to cut goals out of this. And I don't usually do that. The amount of goals we got with this team are unparalleled. I've never scored this amount of goals in five games, which is what I always do. Sometimes I'll record four if I'm stuck for time, but I recorded five with this. I had to cut goals out. I had to cut like five or six goals out because I literally could not fit them all in. It would be like a 10 minute video otherwise. 
This team is incredible. I love this team. I love its formation. Everything about this team was perfect, even down to the fullbacks. And the fullbacks usually don't matter. Everyone in their position had a role to play, and they played it fantastically. Now, let me tell you why. Firstly, let's start with the fullbacks. So I mentioned the fullbacks. The fullbacks are good. You got Kurzawa on the left. Really all round, like beast stats. Can do everything shoot, defend, all that kind of good stuff. Arias is faster than Kurzawa, a little bit less in uh, most stats, but he's, he feels a lot better than a 76 rated non rare goal card, if you know what I mean. Um, you got centre backs then, a Koscielny and also Chris Smalling, upgraded cards, obviously. Uh, fantastic defenders, nothing else needs to be said about them. They'll win headers, they'll clear the ball, which is exactly what you want. They'll stay in their positions too, which makes a big difference. Um, you got the goalkeeper then, keeping the season, Jack Butland. Once again, this is FIFA. There was a few times when a long shot would come in or whatever, and he'd, he wouldn't be able to deal with it properly, but he would deal with it. It would just be very unorthodox, and it would either go out for a corner or hit the post or something like that. He conceded very few goals in this set of clips, let's put it that way. Um, you got the midfield then, let's start with Morgan Schneider. In. Really good CDM. As I uh, showed you, I was he was first owner for me. I had him on like untradeable, so I put him into the team. Very good defensively and can score a few goals. And he's a good passer too, which is what I like to have in a CDM. You got Matuidi on the left centre mid position. I love Matuidi, one of my favourite players in the game because of what he does. He does everything in the team. And um, you got team of the season, Davy Proper. I, I think it's actually said Proper. Like, correct me if I am wrong. Uh, his long shots are insane. Passing stats are insane. And the reason his long shots are so good is because he's medium high. And I don't realise... I've never realised this before. If he's got great long shots and he's medium high, he will always be behind the ball, waiting for you to pass the ball back to him to bang a long shot in from distance. And he's really sick at that. On the other hand, we have Davy Klassen, who can just score from anywhere. Literally, if he's running full, full, full sprint, he'll score a long shot. He'll score inside the box. He can score from his own half, probably. I don't know. He can probably play goalkeeper and still score a hat trick. He is literally that fucking good. I love this guy's card. One of the best cards I've used in this game. Milik's card, as you can see here, brilliant finisher. There's something weird about him, though, and I couldn't really put my finger on it. It's not that he's a bit slow, because he's not really. Um, I don't know, there's something a bit weird about him. Maybe it was like the whole Zlatan Ibrahimovic effect when the better his card gets, sometimes he can't really finish in the box. I don't know, maybe it was something like that, but he, he was really good. He scored a shit ton of goals. This is what I mean about Proper. Proper can score from anywhere as well as Klassen. And I just love how he's medium high. He just stays behind the ball. You got Lesadia as well, or, L or Lecadia. Uh, I think you've seen the goal that he scored where he, I was just LT uh, Ortin <laughs> in front of his defense and just finessed. It was a great goal. Um... He's a really sick player. His fin his fitness is a little bit of a concern. He always has less stamina than everyone else on the pitch. So I if you wanted to use them team in season Janssens or Hallers or whatever you could, uh, they're not that expensive. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time. This squad has been amazing. You've been amazing. I've been Brooks HD. I'll see you next time. Bye.